I'm basically walking on a beach and then I see three people, right? They're kind of very consumed by something going on uh, on the ground of the, you know, uh, dust or sand, you can say, white sand. So, uh, so basically I'm kind of wondering what they're looking at, but I didn't know what they were looking at. So I'm just kind of inquisitive, but I'm passing by. I'm just walking on my own, right? Yeah. And all three of them look at me. They turn around, they look at me and they said that, would you mind giving us some advice? And I mean, that just came out of left field, right? So I'm thinking that I must be like emitting some sort of aura that makes people feel that they can trust me, right? Because that's a pretty big thing because there are three and I'm just one. Mm -hmm. And I said, what's going on? And then they said, look, and then I looked down and there was this beautiful turtle, right? It was a baby turtle. It was a baby turtle that was completely facing opposite of the ocean and it was lost. And they were all like really in love with the turtle, but they were wondering if they should pick up the turtle or if they should, what should, what should they do with the turtle? So that was the actual quest, right? So they're all wondering, but they're not doing anything. So they were asking me, what is your opinion? Mm. And I said, well, based on quantum physics, <laughs> <laughs> based on quantum physics. I go straight to quantum physics now because that is, the, you know, I mean, if I say based on my Islamic religion, I mean, just think about how many stones am I going to get? Oh. Right. I mean, so I, <laughs> So I used what I thought was the safest. <laughs> but, yeah. and, so anyway, I said, and, which actually, and, and I can explain that with quantum physics. So I felt like that is a, that is a more straightforward uh, language. So anyway, I told them that based on quantum physics, you know, when you uh, look at the electron, what happens? It acts like a particle, right? So the very yeah. fact that all of you are looking at the turtle, you are affecting your reality and you're affecting turtle's reality just by virtue of looking at it because you know, um, observation affects momentum. So I explained them that, right? And uh, they said, oh, that's very interesting. Nobody, uh, and then they were like, oh, wow, we didn't know quantum physics is this simple. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's why I wrote the book because it is that simple. And then, and then they said, okay. So, so then I said, based on that, and then based on Star Trek, right? The prime directive, I said that you don't want to help the turtle because if you help the turtle, you're helping the turtle based on what you think the best outcome for the turtle is. Mm. You see? So yeah. now you are imposing what your belief on the turtle. <laughs> yes. And they're like, yeah, you got that right. And I said, well, I know that all of you guys love the turtle. There's no question about it. But I said, how about you broadcast the love to the turtle and trust the process mm. and see what happens because you let the turtle decide its fate and there's a chance the turtle will, you know, not make it and die. I mean, that's the chance you're taking, but there's also a chance the turtle will do what's right. But I said, if you place the turtle in the ocean, then even though in your mind, it's good for the turtle, but turtle may think, may get overwhelmed and may die anyway. You see the point? I mean, in both cases. So I was kind of like, so when I did the whole explanation, they all agreed and they said, yeah. And then I said, let's just hold hand. And then we all send the love to turtle. It was hilarious. So we're all basically doing this turtle magic. And then right when we were doing it, it was so interesting. The turtle completely rotated facing towards the ocean and started walking towards the ocean. Not only that, the ocean started coming towards the turtle because, you know, the waves, right? So it was constantly piling up towards. So the whole dance, the quantum dance was occurring right in front of our eyes. That's amazing. What a beautiful story. And that's, I love, I love that you brought up Star Trek. First of all, we, <laughs> we, are, we are doing a deep dive into Star Trek next generation. And that's like, you know, I, I had never, I've never seen these. I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I haven't really done this. And so to learn about this as we're watching this and hearing you provide an example is just perfect. So thank you for that. And, it, <laughs> and you're, you're so right. Like that's, that's a lesson that I feel like so many of us really need in our interactions with each other. We could learn a ton from what you just provided because oftentimes what we want to do is we want to come into a situation. We want to scoop, scoop up that individual that we feel needs the help and then make the process easier for them. However, that, that kind of takes away from the important part, which is the friction and the friction allows us to grow. It'll, it gives true. us the experience. And so if we take away that experience from something or someone, uh, then we are taking away their opportunity to grow. That is true. And if they're not grown enough, then they're not going to handle the new environment because in order to get there, remember, then it comes back to what you said earlier, is that you only get what you are capable of handling it. Yes. Right? Exactly. So that's not going to happen if you're not capable of handling it because somebody gave you that uh, lift. Lift.